Hello everyone. Today we're going to be creating a, a minimap, and I'm going to post a tutorial on how to create an advanced minimap. If you have been following my YouTube page or my website, well, I have posted a, a tutorial on how to create a basic minimap, and this is well, this will be an advanced topic. First of all, I need to make sure that I will not be posting any codes to the tutorial I'm going about to make. Uh, the reason being is I want people to learn not just to copy one's code and then copy in theirs and use it. No, I don't really believe in that. <laughs> uh, so anyways, and uh, this tutorial will require Pro because uh, I'm going to be using Asset Bundles. But if you have uh, the free version of Unity, it's still fine. But I will be showing an alternative on how to uh, use the method that I'm uh, going to show you guys uh, today. Uh, well, the reason being you can actually use the resources uh, functionality which comes in every unity package that you can get anyways <clears throat> well if you actually haven't watched my videos on how to create a basic minimap you can go to my website well, which I recently created like last week and then go to development and tech and here I will be posting all the tutorials on all code snippets and tips and tricks on on unity and uh, photon anyways <clears throat> that you can follow that and then also my uh, game progress and well I'm gonna be explaining what I'm going to be doing today first of all you need to be familiar with uh, unity script and I this is not a, a scripting course on unity this is just a an advanced tutorial on how to create minimap eh? first you have to go and uh, if you have if you don't know anything about meshes and all that you probably need to go and uh, <clears throat> get familiar with uh, creating meshes and all that everything you need is right here and you can check this out it's really a lot of information uh, well uh, what I did before in my game was I had a minimap the minimap but that I have been using so far uh, was a crappy sloppy and a uh, really complete shitty one because I had to duplicate the terrain second time that's the basic idea I duplicated the terrain a second time and uh, created a second camera. It's an overhead cam, which is going to be drawn only the second terrain. But the first camera, which is the player camera, is going to be drawing the first terrain. That's going to be the scene view. Uh, the, the disadvantage of you doing that is because you're duplicating the terrain the second time, which you're wasting memory. And then the second camera has to render the second terrain which is a lot of CPU cycles even though I uh, toned down the uh, texture the, the terrain quality but it's not gonna do it still you're wasting a lot of uh, well if you're creating a simple game like you know like a platformer or whatever small games it's fine but if you're creating a massive scale like an MMO or an RPG it's not feasible it's really not gonna work because it's it's a lot of it's a lot of CPU work and a lot of memory you're wasting and it's not the optimized and yeah, I would say it's it's a crappy idea. So to create a a, a mini map which actually supports, which you can actually use in an MMO or an RPG, a big scale RPG, of course. Uh, this will actually work fine. So 